is a quick craft. I am going to make a jewelry box for a doll using sticker gems, cardstock, and glue. I start by taking a sheet of sticker gems. We found these at the craft store and they're so close together that there are no spaces in between. Using the grid pattern as a guide, cut rectangles for the sides. Cut another one that can fit in the middle. And now we have the sides and the top to our jewelry box. Carefully peel away the backing and place the sides onto a piece of cardstock, meeting at the corners. Place the top out to the side, cut them out, leaving tabs on the top and one on each side. Fold all of the tabs over, making a crease. Fold over the sides, use a glue stick to glue the side tabs making a box. Glue down the top tabs, cut, stack, and glue a few rectangles of cardstock that can fit inside the box. Glue it under the top to make the lid for the jewelry box. Perfect for storing your doll's accessories. And for a little extra fun, here is a fun find. The index photos from having your photos printed are the perfect size for the dollhouse. And I was able to print a sheet of index photos at my local photo center for about 99 cents. Then I carefully cut them out to make doll-sized prints. Then we can take one of the photos, glue it onto a piece of paper, trim it, glue it onto cardstock, add sticker gems around the edge to make a frame. Cut a triangle of cardstock, bend the end, trim off the top, and the bottom at a slight angle going up. Glue the folded edge to the back of the picture to make a frame that can stand up. And you're done. Happy crafting! You walk in this Give a shout out to Jessica Powell. What's up? Great, I found another one. I just need to empty it out. Sophie, what are you doing with my jewelry box? You know I store family photos in there. Yes, but I need more jewelry boxes. I have a birthday coming up. I know, we're twins. But what does it have to do with my jewelry box? Well, I need somewhere to store all of my presents. Hint, hint. 